Well, hello guys. Um, we're gonna be back at it again with another sketchbook-like tour, but the last one I did was kind of in the first video I made. It was collage, and it was just a big old folder I had. And so today we are going to be uh, just just showing through, like, cause this is a long sketchbook, dude. I'm not gonna lie, but I got all these stickers. Shout out to Red Skateboarding, bro. They're like my favorite homie skate shop. In Bloomington, Indiana, dude. Love all these stickers, bro. Stickers, dog. I gotta tell you one thing. I gotta tell you about the stickers. I'm not even gonna show you the sketch. So basically, this started from the fifth grade to now, and like the almost the end of the sixth grade. Um. So basically, in the fifth grade, my friend and I were drawing, and we were making this like little comics, bro. I had this astronaut guy, and I hated him, because he looked so dumb, and then, like, my friend drew a couple add-ons to my horrible piece of, of complete art. garbage. So, basically, I just redrew him, and I drew a crying pillow, which I thought was pretty cool, and I didn't color these, because I was so lazy. I didn't, I didn't even try, dog. <clears throat> um... Got this very light sketch. I'm a, I'm a very unfinished artist. I guess you could say that because I don't finish Diddly Squad. I, li I really like creatures though. You know, so I got this. Them tentacles though. What them tentacles do, girl? Gosh, sit right down. And I just like scribble. Scribble my way out of stressing myself out. And I got this character. I just really want to move on to this next page because this one's dope. It's future techno versus Martians, and I, I really need to ink this and color this. Comment down below if you wanted me to, you know, redo this drawing into my now art style. This alien's right behind this big old monster, and he's like, "Bye bye, Robotard. Time to die, alien scum." And then this guy says, "I've got him, Sarge. I don't think I can make it." <laughs> and then he just crunches him. Nestle crunch. You know what I mean? Um, and then this one, he's just headbutting this alien, H alien, like, yeah, basically, you got a number two pencil against this big old machine gun army robot dude, and this alien is just like, mmm, yummy, I need to draw a tongue on that boy, just smacking them lips, looks very weird. This guy's chainsaw on this weird alien. And I just, I really like this part. Um, I mean, it's not as good as my now art, but I still appreciate it now as an artist. I got more sketchbooks if y'all want to see more. Here's this big old guy I never finished. Oh my god, it's it's Hippie Dan, Leppy, and Unipig. Here's Unipig. Um, there's Leppy, and then... Hippie Dan with the Taste the Rainbow Skittles. It, it's copyrighted. It's this big old robe. Uh, and I really like that. Basically what happened was, the backstory to this was, in my neighborhood, during like the beginning of COVID, people were like drawing rainbows and putting them on their rainbow sill, or like their rainbow sill, dog, I'm, I'm tripping, uh, on their window sill. And so, since I'm kind of like the artist of the family, my family asked me, to do something like this, but I forgot to like ink it and color it. <clears throat> so it's basically pastime now, but I tried to do a staircase because I'm really into skating and I wanted to draw this guy just get up in a staircase. And then we also have these this guy right here, he's nose around in a picnic table, dropping into a vert ramp. This guy's doing a 360 may and this guy's fifty fifty in a handrail, but <clears throat> may I remind you of him? This is a while ago. I drew this guy's name Septic. Freaking weird name. Hear that? You're a you're a you're a poo poo filled ro 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 robot. And I drew these heads for like just a drawn. Look at all that white space, bro. It's horrible. Just random sketch after random sketch after random sketch. Like, oh, this one's a more of a recent one I filled out. This guy's name is Burnout. I like the tie and stuff. I'm really into Left 4 Dead, and I I took my like favorite part. I also like Shaun of the Dead, 
and Lewis from Left 4 Dead and Sean of the and, uh, Sean from Shaun of the Dead. They both have these red loose ties. And I, I just thought that would be so cool to just like a little feature. And then this was like scripts for a comic. Again, more I video ideas. I, these are like so cringy and stuff. I even like drew stuff out for him. Oh, and this is one of my OCs. Uh, his name is Big Bear. He's got like a voice box. So like basically you can talk and stuff. More scripts. And uh, these guys are just walking down the street. I was just practicing my character design at this point. Oh, sweaty hands, sweaty hands. Prepare yourself for this next run. It's a gigantic Godzilla like Karen. Where's your manager? And then all these little stick figures down here. It's a Karen run. Oh my god. We're all gonna die. As she reaches into her like broken purse. Like, what's up with that? Um, just random character sketch. Blank page. Really gross looking comic. Look at that dude's nose, dog. And some character design. More character design. Call this guy Mary Jane just because I did. Oh, Hippie Dan sketch. Early sketches of Hippie Dan. Oh, and just blank pages. Um. Oh, and this was a page I was going to do for a comic as well. There, w there I was in that van. A van full of strangers. They kept talking. I decided I had enough pull over. I want to stop. They let me out. And this first page is just so stupid. Uh, this guy's drinking and driving, so d don't do that. That's bad. Okay. Drugs are bad. Okay. <sighs> Character designs that I never made. Oh, this is spoilers for the next video I'm going to make. Skip over that. Ah, more spoilers. And I suck at female drawings, which is something I really want to work on. So I was working on these female characters that I really wanted to do instead of just doing a Karen. Karen. Women are more than Karen. Appreciate them. Okay. Ladies, I'm out there if you need me. Um, but, you know, there's a more Big Bear and Finn. Uh, here's Finn. Like a little fish in a bowl with a uh, machine gun. And then here's Brainchild. I, I based it off... Uh, uh, there's a skateboarder, Tom Haslam. He made this uh, new skate brand dedicated to... Uh, oh my god, I'm so stupid. Uh, like Mental health awareness. And that's what the whole company was for. I thought that was like really cool, so I just named one of my OCs after him, just because. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the 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 big red sketchbook. Um, next episode, we are going to be covering this big thick daddy, which is way older. This is like third grade, and I even drew like Kermit on the cover. This is very old. Some of the stuff I ripped out and put into Big Daddy Folder that you guys might remember from my first video. Um, but yeah, no, uh, peace out, fellow uh, sapiens of the homo realm. Uh, see, ya, see you later. I'm not going through that. Oh man, I'm lost. Oh bro, uh, just uh, be prepared bro, cause this is Cringe fest, Mc McCringy nine. Oh, hello, fellow Homo sapiens. I am the dumpster that skates, and today we are going to be looking at a comic I made not too long ago. We're gonna look at the defaults in it and how, like, I could change, make myself a better comic artist in general. But let's uh, splash right into it real quick. Eh, let's get into it. Basically, the first page is my character running away from a few uh, zombos. You know what I mean? Got some stuff. He hops out of that car. Hops out of that stuff. And some of the drawings I don't like, like. What's with that guy's mouth? Let me focus. 
want to zoom in then. Look at that guy. Ain't got no mouse. And one problem I have with this top of the car. You see the top of the car and the other page, but it's not red. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely could fix that. So basically, they encountered this big old, oh man, this one thick monster. So it's got one big booty monster. And, uh, he just, he's coming out of nowhere. And this guy just, my favorite part in this whole comic is basically the stance he's in. You know what I mean? I just love that stance. And he just chops that thing in half with his machine gun. I thought that was so cool. And... I don't really like this drawing right here because it is pretty garbage. Like it doesn't make sense. He went from big booty thick to little tiny stick, if you know what I'm saying. And then uh they basically just meet each other and almost second to last page they got zombie coming and he basically introduces himself um some more. And they all see this big old blue monster coming at them. And they just, they hightail it, dog. They are not wasting any time to just leave. They will leave you faster than most running things. If you know what I'm saying, fellow sapiens. <clears throat> and they just hop into that car and they just get flooped by this big old, big old monster. And, uh, they wake up, and it leaves you on a cliffhanger. And, uh, yeah, that, that's really all of full body cast. Um, yeah, pretty much. And if you guys want me to, if you got any requests, I'll fix the, the comments from last video. And, uh, we'll basically see you later for a moment.